All right, guys, I'm going to talk you through a migraine contrast treatment. Uh, as we talked about in the lecture, migraines are considered vascular headaches. So when somebody starts to have a migraine coming on, they may experience an aura. Not all migraines have auras, but some of them do. And at that point, the blood vessels in the brain and neck begin to vasodilate and there is a, a flush of blood to the brain and it creates this very strong pressure feeling and creates a migraine headache. So at the very beginning of a migraine, we may be able to apply a, a contrast hydrotherapy treatment that would help them to reduce the symptoms of the migraine and maybe even prevent the migraine from coming on entirely. This treatment might not be appropriate if they're already in the throes of a really strong migraine. If somebody's having a really bad migraine, they're probably not coming in for a massage. They'd be very light sensitive. Their skin would probably be sensitive. They'd be sensitive to touch and it wouldn't, they'd probably have to cancel their massage if they have a bad migraine. But I have clients who experience migraines all the time and um, they've come in for regular massages and massage can really help. Uh, with the tension that's created by regular migraines if you work on their neck and the musculature and their shoulders. And sometimes I have clients come in who are saying, you know, I'm just starting to get the premonition that I might be getting a migraine, but I still wanna have my massage. This would be a really great treatment to add to their, add to their uh, massage. And I might even do this treatment right away as soon as they get on the table and I've explained the treatment to them and I've warmed them up and done the rocking and everything. I'm gonna say, you know, since you're starting to get a migraine, um, what I know about migraines is that they're, uh, they're, the cause of them is vascular. So what I'd like to do is try to draw blood away from the brain and from your head. So I'm gonna place a heat source on your feet, the furthest away or on your low back, anywhere away from the head. And I'm going to place a cool or a cold source on the back of your neck around C7 shoulder area. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna constrict the vessels going up to your head and it's gonna draw blood away. And hopefully we can maybe even prevent your migraine or at least make it uh, a little less intense. So I'm gonna apply the heat on the feet first. I've prepared my Thermafor pack. It's got a, uh, a pillowcase on it, it's plugged in, it's preheated, and then I have another towel with two layers. So I have three layers of protection there, and I'm gonna un uncover her feet here, get her to take a nice deep breath in, and apply it on the exhale as per usual. And I'm gonna wrap her feet up in, these, in this uh, heat treatment, cover it up, Make sure her feet are nice and wrapped in it and hopefully that's going to start to warm the feet and draw blood away from the brain. And in the meantime, I'm going to come up here. Now, we may have not discussed this in the heat treatment, but when it comes to heat or cold, making any vascular changes in the neck and brain area, we want to be really, really cautious. So. Ideally, what we like to say is no heat or cold above C7. So use C7 as the cutoff point. Sometimes when you have heat packs or something, they go maybe a little bit above to C6, but be really cautious not to apply direct, especially heat, direct heat up uh, beyond C7, because that can create vascular headaches. So if anybody played around with heat during their um, practice treatments this week, you may have noticed that you may have felt a little bit headachey if you place heat too high on the neck. We have a ton of vasculature in the neck, uh, carotid artery, the jugular vein. We have a ton of blo blood flowing to this region. So we have to be very, very careful when we're uh, increasing or decreasing blood flow in the area. However, to apply a cold treatment, cold is a little less worrisome um, as long as you're choosing a milder form of cold and you're using the appropriate layers between the skin and the cold source. So I have this cold pack, it's a long skinny cold pack so it's great for kind of wrapping around the shoulders. And I have it wrapped around this pillowcase three times. So Paige, I'm gonna apply this cold treatment to your neck so I can get you to take a nice deep breath in and exhale. And I'm just gonna wrap that around C7, around the neck here. And now, are you comfortable? Yes. How are your feet? Nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. So I'm just gonna keep checking in. 
It's a little trickier with contrast treatments because you have two things to check in on and you have to remember that cold doesn't have to stay on as long, which is why I've wrapped this up a few more times. It's gonna take a little bit longer to get cool. Um, and the heat also, I've wrapped it up a few extra times. It's gonna take longer for that heat to work as well. This is a milder form of this treatment. They're both dry um, on the skin and they're both wrapped up in extra layers. So this allows me some time to get into my massage treatment in the rest of her body and let these things do their work. Make sure you check in on the cold, uh, especially quickly. If it gets to that cold aching stage, take it off, let it warm up again. You could apply this maybe even multiple times during the massage. Um, just making sure that you don't apply too much cold there for too long because you will get a derivation uh, um, reaction where you'll draw blood to that area if you leave it on for too long. So we just wanna kinda of cool it down and then take it off, cool it down, take it off. And in the meantime, I can go and apply my other massage techniques. I can work on her back, I can do her glutes, I can work on her legs, anything like that. So this is just a nice extra treatment that you can add uh, for somebody who's suffering from a migraine.